starring Tommy Rettig as Jeff Miller. Jan Clayton as his mother, Ellen. George Cleveland as Gramps. And, of course, Lassie. Chest. What's going on? He took a bath last night without being told, now he's slicking his hair. First day of school. Well, it had been first days before, and he never acted like this. You teach her. He must have heard she's young and pretty. Well, is she? Mm-hmm. Very. Won't you come in? I'm... Well, my name is Miss Vernon, and I'm sure we're going to get along just beautifully. Hey, we used to have Miss Robbins. Well, yes, I know, but... Well, won't you come in? Look, everything's different. Yes. Yes, I rearranged all your desks. The larger children are over there, and the third and fourth grade here. I'm sure you can find your own. That's the way a country school ought to be arranged, you know. And by the way, I got my hands pretty sticky with gum lifting some of those desks. Miss Robbins let us. Let you what, dear? Chew gum. Yeah, and she never moved the desk, neither. Well, never mind. And we'll see about the gum. Now, if you'll just find your places and... Is that for me? My mother said to bring it. Oh, well, you must be Susan, isn't it? Susan Ames. Everybody calls me Spike. Well, we'll, we'll see. I, I mean, thank you very much. It, it's preserves, isn't it? My name's Jeff Miller. I'm in the seventh grade, and I'm happy to meet you. Of course, Jeffrey. Mrs. Miller's boy. Yes, ma'am. I picked these by myself. Well, most of them. Oh, how simply beautiful. Aren't you sweet? Well, I've got something, too. Me, too. Oh, oh children, children, thank you so much. Oh, look at that. Every one of you is so nice. We're going to have such fun together. I know we are. I have it all planned and organized. There's just nothing going to stop us from getting along perfectly. Get down, girl. I'm Woody, Miss Vernon. I'm the eighth grade. All of it. I'm the flag monitor. Uh, just a minute, please. Uh, Jeffrey, uh, aren't you going to send your dog back home? Huh? No, why? They never go home. 
say? His name's Sport. And hers is Winky. And there's Sam. Do you mean you let your dog stay in the classroom? Sure, they don't hurt anything. Lassie even rings the recess bell. But I mean all day? Sure, Miss Robbins let us. She did. Come on. Pardon, Wayne, it's his fault. You're over here, Parky, in front of me. Who moved me? She did. summer, but it just ditches them worse. Children, we're not going to get along very well unless we start out by being honest with each other. Huh? Well, he did, didn't you, Woody? Didn't you put sheep dip on Never him? mind, yeah. Jeffrey. I'm talking about the whole idea of dogs in a classroom. Why? Well, I never heard of such a thing. Well, Miss Robbins... You also said Miss Robbins let you chew gum in here. I didn't. Not me. Spike did. Well, sometimes she did. Yes, of course. Woodrow, I want you and Jeffrey to take all the dogs outside. Please, be quiet. If you say the dogs can't be sent home, then they'll just have to wait outside until school is over. That's no good, Miss Vernon. Honest. My dog just sleeps. Miss Robbins always left. Now, that's enough of that. All right, boys, hurry up. Do as I say. Come on, Lassie. Go on out. Come on, Sport. Come on. Shoot. <laughs> Come on, Sam. Come on, Sam. Come on. Come on. Come on, Spot. Come on, Spot. Come on, you gotta go out, too. Hey, leave my dog alone. She said, take him out. I said, let my dog alone. Oh, you dirty rat! You're a good No, stop it, boy. Stop it. Woodrow, Sylvester. All right, break it up. Come on, break it up. Stop it. Hey, break it up. You're a good Stop it, boys. Stop it this instant. Now take your seats. Sylvester? Believe. Believe. B E L E A V E. Sit down. Jeffrey? Believe. B-E-L-I-E-V-E. -E. Inspect. Inspect. I-N-S... Go on, inspect. Inspect. I... N... <laughs> they, they won't start fighting, will they? Hurting the little ones? No, ma'am, that's not what happens. They start chasing things. Rabbits, mostly. All right, children, sit down. Continue, Jeffrey. Inspect. Inspect. I N. <laughs> Woodrow, 
allow Jeffrey Sylvester to remain in their seats. Class dismissed. Goodbye, Miss Vernon. Goodbye. Goodbye, Miss Vernon. Goodbye. Goodbye, Miss Vernon. Goodbye. I've been teaching school for quite some time now, and I must say I've never seen such a disgraceful exhibition as you three boys were guilty of this afternoon. It's all his fault. He pushed me. I had none. It is so. Quiet, both of you. I know who started it, and I know whose fault it was. But that doesn't excuse any of you for fighting in the classroom. Since you boys seem to have so much energy, you might just as well put it to good use. Jeffrey, you wash the blackboards. Sylvester, you sweep the floor. The pail, broom, and sponge are in the storage closet. Woodrow, come here, please. Take this rag and can of benzene and clean all the wads of chewing gum out from under the desk. Seven more desks to do. I'm through. Oh, that's fine, Woodrow. Better leave a window open to air out the room. Can I go now? Yes. And I hope you've learned a lesson. Goodbye, Woodrow. Yeah, bye. That's the whole trouble with things today. Everybody's got newfangled ideas. By keeping dogs out of the classroom? Got newfangled. Why, sure. I remember when I was a boy. Holy they... Gramps, that was a long time ago, wasn't it? You insinuate and I'm old? <laughs> Have some more bread, Dad. Miss Robbins let us. Let you what? Keep the dogs in the classroom. I'm afraid Miss Robbins wasn't a very up to date teacher. <laughs> Everything's got to be up to date. But Dad, why don't you put your fork down? Eat your stew with your fingers. That's real old fashioned. Like the cavemen. And maybe tonight, you'd like to sleep in a tent up on the North Meadow. Then in the morning, you could catch a nice big fat pheasant for breakfast. With your bare hands, that is. <laughs> that ain't funny. Don't you think we should keep our dogs in the classroom? No, I don't. Why not? We keep Lassie in the house. Oh, well, now that's quite different. Why? Because your mother says so. Because school is a place for concentration, and you can't concentrate with a room full of dogs. No, I, I agree completely with Miss Vernon. There's no reason why they shouldn't stay out of doors. Well, but there is. Like today, they chased a rabbit under the schoolhouse. Did they catch him? No. Oh. Well, what about the winter? Well, what about it? Is she going to leave him outside in the winter when it's ten below? Yeah, they'd freeze. <laughs> but we'll worry about that when it is ten below. Just like a woman never planned for the future. Future? Well, I thought you were only interested in the past, in old-fashioned things. Like dripping ice boxes and ancient stoves and mohair furniture. Finish. Hello? Yes? Oh, yes, dear. Well, he's eating his supper now. Can you call back in ten minutes? You mean it's so important that you can't wait ten minutes? All right. Hold on. It's Parky. Matter of life and death. Hi. Hi, Park. Hi. Spike just called me up to tell me what Woody's going to do to the new teacher. Boy. What's he going to do? I can't hear you. Talk louder. He's going to sneak down to the school tonight and put a snake in the top drawer of her desk. A what? 
Don't shout, Jeff. Wait a minute. What? I said don't shout, but I can't hear them. Consign contraptions, you never can hear on them when you need to. Go ahead, Porky. What's he gonna put in her desk? A snake. A big garter snake. He went out and caught it after school. He told Billy, then Billy told Spike, and Spike told me. What's he gonna do that for? It'll just make her madder. Yeah, I know. That's what Spike said to Billy, and that's what Billy said to him. But you know Woody, nobody can tell him nothing. When's he gonna do it? Tonight, he said. Maybe he did it already. Well, okay. Okay what? Okay, I'll think about it. So long. What was so important? We've got a problem. When don't you have a problem? But this is serious. Woody's gonna put a snake in the teacher's desk. What? He's gonna put a snake in her desk tonight, on account of she made us put the dogs outside and kept us after school. It's no use calling. Probably put it there already. Well, then you'll go down and take it out. Gramps has a key to the schoolhouse. Well, I never heard of such a thing. Oh, I sure. When I was a boy, we used to... Jeff, you finish up. Dad, you go with him. I'm gonna have a talk with his mother about this. Ray's house and ring the firehouse. Well, what about Woody? I'll take care of him. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 